These are the most successful Shopify stores and how you can emulate their tactics coming up right now. But before we start, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more because we're going to be talking all about Shopify on this store going forward as well as many other things like the stock market and so on and so forth. So these are the 10 most successful Shopify stores and how you can emulate exactly how they did it. So here we go. The first one, of course, is Fashion Nova. So let's dive in. First of all, though, are Shopify stores profitable? Okay, there's no guarantee that you'll turn a profit in uh, for a platform on Shopify. However, there's certainly a strong indicator for future success, and you have to do everything correctly in many cases. So Shopify data so shows that 81% of merchants are profitable after a couple years. Now, the annual revenue for a Shopify store is, get this, $155,000. So that's the average annual revenue for a Shopify store. So absolutely, yes, it is very possible that you can be successful on Shopify. So um, that's just the average of $155,000. So, you know, I mean, imagine you know, creating a Shopify store that with something that someone actually really wants, like a product that someone actually wants and selling it on your platform, even if it's a, if it's a one product store and so on, then you can absolutely be successful on Shopify. It's going to take a little time, of course, but you can do it. Why is Shopify one of the best e-commerce platforms? So it's beginner friendly. So Shopify stores are extremely easy to set up. And that's why a lot of people on YouTube, especially talk about Shopify. Now, it offers a variety of things. So over 100 free and paid Shopify themes are available for all categories of e-commerce businesses. So these are very easily customizable and can be personalized for all genres of business. Now, it's affordable. Shopify prices start at just $29 a month. They also offer a risk-free trial, 14-day option. So check that out in the description. I have a link in the description to start out on Shopify right now for free. So... It's extremely easy to use. Web hosting and other technicalities are taken care of by Shopify to reduce barriers to business ownership. Now, so now, without further ado, let's talk about this here. So Shopify stores with tactics to steal. Here are the 10 best examples. We're to yieldify. So successful Shopify fashion stores. So like Fashion Nova, for instance, emerged as one of the most popular fashion e-commerce brands and has crossed over $400 million in revenue in 2019. Get that again, $400 million. Can you believe this? So Fashion Nova, but what stands out the most is their brilliant social media st uh, strategy and incorporation of user-generated content. Fashion Nova asked their uh, followers to post with Fashion Nova clothes on Instagram to win a chance to get featured on their homepage. So that's a big way that you can steal. So here's some tactics to steal from Fashion Nova. Number one, post consistently and frequently on social media to gain a decent following. Make sure you use user-generated content to skyrocket your customer engagement to bring more traffic to your store. The next one is Gymshark. Founded by CEO Ben Francis back in 2012, Gymshark is an extraordinary business. Working from his garage in Birmingham, Ben was just 19 years old when he started his mission to unite the conditioning community. So, today Gymshark has more than 18 million social media followers, which you, can absolutely, you absolutely can do if you continue to build a, a phenomenal brand uh, with you know, customers that actually want to buy your product, of course. And having reached Unicorn says with one point a one point three billion dollar valuation in twenty twenty, Gymshark is a true Goliath of the fitness industry. Chubby. So or let me let me say also tactics to seal. Build a community. Gymshark has united a community of like minded fitness enthusiasts through intelligent social media and mar influencer marketing which I've talked about a million times over and over and over again. You can you can be a $1.3 billion business too if you do that. Um, the things I've done in the I've talked about in the past, of course. Put your customers first. And now Chubby's. Chubby's was found in 2011 by a group of friends who wanted to take a stance against the traditional world of men's fashion. And so some of the tactics you could steal is define your purpose. Chubby's aren't 
just selling clothes. They're selling fun. Speak to your customers' emotions and give them something beyond your product to keep them coming back. Kylie Cosmetics, of course, we all know Kylie Cosmetics. Um, that needs no introduction. So build a clear brand identity. Kylie's focus focus on vegan, cruel free, cruelty free, um, all that environmental friendly stuff. Uh, it's something you could steal from her. ColourPop is another one. Um, here are some tactics you can steal from ColourPop. Sending free products to influencers has been their play, using which they have crossed 4,000 influencer mentions. I've talked about this so many times. All this shouldn't be anything new to you if you followed this channel. Uh, you can do that by focusing on both organic and sponsored influencer strategy, as I say here. Um Ruggable is in Shopify home store. Um, some of the cat taxes you could use and steal is efficient and benefit copywriting. Uh, it definitely pays. Create a fluff-free copy, which chalks out all of your amazing benefits in the most minimalistic way. Raycon. I believe we talked about Raycon before. Um, Raycon is a minimalistic product detail pages, of course. So some of the tactics you could steal from them is Adding social proof, especially above the fold, that can um, have an immense subconscious impact on the minds of your buyers. Using celebrities as social proof works like magic because research says that 49% of buyer decisions depend on influencer recommendations. 49%. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So another one is BioLite, of course. Some of the tactics that you could steal from BioLite is make use of proprietary data. Let customers know exactly how they're contributing to making the world a better place by showing them the hard numbers. Tailor Stitch. Um, some of the uh, steal. Some of the ways you could steal from this. Sophisticated and unintrusive pop-ups are a great um, way to expand your potential customer base. Don't overwhelm your visitors with notifications. Rather, to give them a variety of options to choose from by segmenting your customer base and using behavioral triggers and of course last but not least is exist travels so an, an, another one is is really uh exi exist travels yes having an easy navigate uh contact page provides a hassle-free way for your customers to connect with you chatbots are also a great way of offering assistance around the clock and look if you're going to have a site like this like like um what is it? Ex exist travels, like a traveling site. Then, yeah, obviously, you know, round the clock customer um, customer service is key. So, if you like this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and hopefully, I will see you in the next one.